Good morning and welcome to day three. Um, it is a foggy, damp morning today. It rained a little bit um, after I left. I went to bed last night, but um, not too bad. Um, but I stayed nice and dry. But um, everything this morning feels like it needs 20 more minutes in the dryer. <laughs> it's all just kind of a little damp. It's not wet. A little damp. And I don't know if you can see this fog or not in the headlamp. But to me, it looks like it's it's a mist rolling through here. It was supposed to burn off pretty early this morning. Um, it's not real cold though. It's probably um, I would say uh, low 70s. Feels good. But I am all packed up and pretty much ready to go. Just need to get some water. And um, there's a stream behind the shelter, and four guys came in last night. So I'll tell you more about them later on. And then I need to grab my food bag, and I'm just about done. Bye. I tried to video this, but it's not working. Um, first light is just coming out. There's enough um, light to make out the, the trees and the fog. And the, probably the sky. Yeah, camera's not even pick up the sky yet. But the outline of the trees and the fog. This is just... Wow. I never would have seen this if I hadn't turned off my headlamp. It's just amazing. It's just, it's beautiful. A little creepy, don't get me wrong, but beautiful. Yeah. So it's about 10 minutes to 7, and we're just getting first light. You start seeing the leaves on the ground. <clears throat> and um, it's about 15, 20 minutes ago, after I said how beautiful it is with the shadows of the trees, I said it was creepy. <laughs> Started freaking myself out. And uh, let's get a focus there, bud. All right. <clears throat> and right after that, I heard this tinny sound, almost like dog tags or you know, um, dog collar. I'm like what the fuck? And, um, I mean, I spooked enough to where I actually took out my knife and had my <laughs> had it in my hand. <laughs> Nothing else, no, nothing else happened, so 10, 15 minutes later, <laughs> I hear it again. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I had left some tents, um, tent stakes in my campsite, and I'd stepped on them and didn't realize I was stepping on them. And that's what I was hearing was the two tent stakes hitting each other. <laughs> oh, you dumbass. <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> so it's 7:20. <clears throat> this camera does a pretty good job of um, picking up the light because it is not nearly as light as it looks in this picture. Um, <clears throat> but it's enough to be able to see the trail and um, see the sticks and roots and stuff. <coughs> So I'm going to bypass about four miles of the AT today in a pretty nasty up and downhill. And I'm going to take, I'm taking the Ma Her Trail, whatever it is. <clears throat> it's about three miles long and it's back up with the AT. Um, I don't feel guilty for doing it. I mean, I'm not doing a through hike. My goal is to be out here for the seven days. So. Um, so I mentioned the guy from Oneana last night, and after he left, another guy came in, and he was one of four, and he was from Jensen Beach, Florida, which is stone's throw from Stewart. Like, holy shit, small world. So, um, 
Anyway, I sat and talked to him for a while, and then he had brought, he had actually took this trail yesterday, and um, the other three had taken the AT, and they took about an hour and a half longer, and they got caught in some nasty rain, um, that thunderstorm that came through. So they came in soaked. And at that point, I already had my tent set up, because I knew that I was not going to spend the night in the shelter with the four of them. So, um, I had already had dinner, and the, the three other guys, actually, I never saw the fourth guy, the two uh, younger ones came in, and, um, sat there for another, I don't know, 10-15 minutes, and finally around 6.30 or so, it was starting to get dark, so, I said my goodnights, and went over my tent. So, anyway, it's Monday. So I should have this trail to myself this morning. And hopefully I'll have my campsite tonight to myself. It's down by the river. And judging from the gut hooks comments, there's some really nice places. Um, it's a locals party place. Um, but uh, a little ways off down by the river, you can find a nice campsite. There's like seven or eight of them for, that through hikers use. But again, this is Monday, so hopefully not a big deal. Um, yeah. Anyway, I will check in later on. Bye. So, stop for breakfast. Sitting here, this is a waterfall. Nice little pool of water, which I'll probably clean up, wash my face in a little bit. I grabbed a bag of water and um, <laughs> a salamander almost <laughs> hit in my bag. Oh. The trail is right on the other side of that rock and then goes up the side of the hill there. It's, um, yeah, not a bad little spot. Oh, it is 9.05. I'm still on this mall per ball burr trail, whatever it is. Spam and tortilla. Be nicer with mustard, but I think about new trail food. I'd rather eat this and tuna fish. And on trail, it's a great source of protein. And fat. So. Oh. This trail is no joke. It is tough. Technically challenging with all the rocks. Lots of steep up hills and downhills. Yeah, if the, if the rocks aren't slippery, then the dirt is just smooth. And man, what a pain in the ass. I passed a family down there a little ways um, before I started this uphill climb. So I'm guessing I'm getting close to some kind of parking lot. They had, um, I think it was like four adults and a couple of kids. I didn't take a whole lot of time to, to look. I didn't want to be nosy. But the fact that these kids made this, made this walk down here, it can't be too much further. My right knee is giving me some issues, especially in the downhills. Um, didn't bother me at all yesterday and last night. I was sitting in my tent, laying in my tent, and kind of just doing some simple little stretches. I mean, nothing nothing major at all. Um, and all of a sudden I felt this twinge. And I'm like, oh, shit. Not painful so much as just, hey, I know you're there. So um, the downhills today have been tough. My knees give me some problems. Um, uphill so far are fine. And as long as my knee doesn't give out on me like it did last time. And it, you know, I'd, basically I would be doing an uphill or downhill and my knee would just kind of collapse and I wouldn't be able to hold it. Um, I can handle the pain as long as I can get up and down the hills. So um, 
today is going to be a short day. It's only like six or seven miles total. This trail is three miles, which I should be just about done with. Um, and then uh, I've got two miles of the AT to a camp spot next to the river. So Anyway, mentally I'm good. This trail's been a bitch. This trail's been tough. Um, and I'm just thinking that, you know, everything I read, this is supposed to be easier than the AT. You know, it's four miles shorter. But damn. Anyway, I will, uh, I'll check in later on. So it's a few minutes after 10. And it's past a guy and girl. Um, I don't know. Father, daughter, maybe? She looked awfully young. I would say 16, 15. And he was in his late 20s, early 30s, so something like that. Um, anyway, as I approached him, he's like, wow, what a beautiful trail. And all I could think was, what you fucking dumbass, what are you talking about? Well, now I've been hiking the trail he just came out of. And um, now I understand why he says it's a beautiful trail. If I'd known what this was going to look like, I would have given him more of a heads up about how much of a bitch it turns into. Oh, they did warn me that there's, um, right after Harper's Ferry, or Harper's Creek Shelter, there's a log that goes across a trail, and there's ground bees. I guess they, they got stung a couple dozen times um, yesterday when they came through here, or Saturday when they came through here. Whatever. And, um, they took a day off just to kind of heal up a little bit. So... Anyway, this is beautiful trail. I could do this all day long. Definitely understand what he meant. Oh. So it's 11 11, was it? 11 o'clock? Yeah, 11 o'clock, 11, 11, 11, 11. And I'm at my point where I was gonna stop, I probably am gonna stop for the day. Although, if I rest up here for two or three hours, the next shelter is only five miles down the trail, 4.8 actually. And it's a 2,000 foot elevation gain over five miles. That sets me up for a short day tomorrow into Montebello. Well, it sets me up for the same day that I was going to have if I didn't miss it, or go, go early, I guess. But man. But if I do that, if I rest up here, keep in mind I just dropped four miles off my, my day. I was supposed to do an extra four today. An extra 4.8 doesn't seem like that bad, right? I don't know. I'm gonna rest up here, get some lunch, hang out for a bit, and then, um, oh, this water's awfully cold, but it feels good on the feet. Oh. And then I'll make my decision somewhere around one o'clock or so, one or two o'clock. See how things are going. Um, my knee really doesn't bother me on the uphills. It's just the downhills. So. Oh. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. So the uh, gut hooks says to, when you're northbound, come across a suspension bridge. And then um, turn right, go down the trail, and there's some spots for camping. This is one of them. I think there's another one back down that trail. But man, you gotta you gotta hand it to through hikers. They find all the good spots. That'd be perfect. The um, I mean, I'm not even 100 feet from the where I was. Come down here, while you go see the bridge.
that's not exactly a little beach down there, but I just don't know if I can spend eight hours here. Nice little swimming hole too. Bridge is right up there. I don't have a trekking pole with me. A little ginger steps. Well, if I stay here, that's where I'm camping. <laughs> this is just too awesome. Sit next to the water. Now, if I do this, it sets me up on a five mile day to the priest shelter and then a five mile day to Montebello. Another two very short days. That's three short days in a row. Of course, tomorrow's gonna be a bit of a bitch with a 2,000 foot climb. But it's over five miles, 4.8 miles. So not that bad. I don't know. Don't need to decide it right now, so check in later on. Bye. So here's the uh, suspension bridge. <clears throat> I'm actually going back. I've already come this way, but um, I want to get some pictures of it. You can feel it sway underneath you. It's kind of an uneasy feeling. And there's my river. Well, and you probably knew this was coming. It's like 12.37. And um, I ate a big thing of roast beef, uh, Mountain House roast beef, two and a half servings for lunch. Figured, why not? You know, I got the extra meal. And um, if I'm going to sit around here and get wet, I might as well hike and get wet. By the way, it's raining. I don't know if you saw that in the river or not. So, um, 12.40 by the time I get my pack back on. And um, I got 4.8 miles to go. Call it five. As long as I do like one mile an hour, nice and easy, I'll be in by six. So, um, wish me luck. Bye. Oh. So let's see here, it's about uh, 12.25 or so. Is that right? No, 1.25, right? 1.25, almost 1.30. And um, the trail comes down the side there, and then up and over the rocks, and then up. And I know that's not gonna do justice, but that's kind of pretty. Oh. But I've done um, about 1.3 miles in 45 minutes. Um, even with the uh, hard uphill, we've had so far. This just happens to be a little flat area. Um, made decent time. My goal is to do one mile per hour for five hours. Um, that will get me to the shelter around 5 30, 6 o'clock, which is plenty of time to set up a tent, get a bite to eat. However, I am hoping that given today's weather and the fact that it's a Monday and that there haven't been any southbound hikers that pass me except for that one old guy who bypassed three ridges and the priest entirely hopefully I'll have a shelter to myself that would be nice Um, legs are doing pretty well. Like I said, you know, my knees on the uphills, they do just fine. So, uh, no worries there so far. Um, kind of wish I hadn't eaten such a, such a big lunch, but I'm sure by the time I get up there, I'll be glad that I had that much energy.
Well, I'm already a third of the way there, so. So far, so good. Anyway. I guess I'll put this camera away before, um, before I fall down off this mountain. Because that's straight. It is a pretty good drop. <laughs> All right. I'll check in later on. Oh. So 2.05. And, um... I've gone just a hair under two miles, like 1.9 miles. So, um, doing okay on time. Um, two miles and an hour and a half. Uphills, it's tough. But I knew it was going to be tough. That's why I'm thinking one mile an hour and I'll be okay. So it's two o'clock. If I can keep at this pace of one mile an hour, it gets me there by five. So I'm good. Actually, I'll be there a little earlier than that. That's fine. The problem is it's so hot and muggy, or not hot, but so muggy that um, sweat just doesn't evaporate. And your shirt gets soaked. It's 100% humidity. I mean, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I mean, I'm basically in the clouds. So, anyway, doing all right. Um, just, just hot. Um, knees are doing good. Feet are doing good. Take it nice and slow. And uh, check in a little while. Well, my ears have popped twice on this ascent. And I've managed to hike my way right into a friggin' cloud. The good thing is, let me just kind of ridge point. I'm finally getting a breeze. Oh. Don't get me wrong. I'm only about halfway up this bitch, but one step at a time, right? Bye. Oh, 4.15. And now at the summit of the priest. Unbelievable. There's actually a camp around here, campsite here. Oh, hard climb. Very hard climb. I think about another half mile or so from the shelter. Oh, and I'll check in a little bit. Man. Oh. It's right at five o'clock, right? The five minutes, five till. And I'm at the, the priest shelter. Um, and I've pooped. <laughs> so, my one mile an hour estimate was about right. Although, I'm a little disappointed it actually took me that long. Um, My knees give me problems again. Not the uphills, it's the downhills. And it's not when I put my foot down, it's picking my foot up to take the next step. I can put weight on my right foot, it's my right knee that's bothering me. I can put weight on my right foot going down, but I can't step down and put weight on my left foot because my knee won't bend. My right knee won't bend. Thought last year was a fluke, out of shape and whatnot. But I've been walking. I just need. To, I guess I need to do more. Maybe some weightlifting. Strengthen my knee. Really hope this doesn't mean the end of my uh, my AT trip.
Anyway, um, it's five o'clock. I've got about two hours before dark. I had a big ass lunch, um, two and a half serving thing of beef stew. Man, it was good. It was really good. So um, I'll probably do like tuna fish and spam or something like that for lunch or for dinner tonight. Um, I'm talking to you, so there's nobody here at, this, at the shelter. Um, I did pass. Oh, a guy, a guy passed me on the way up the hill. Hill. It's a fucking mountain. You can bleep that out, right? <sighs> he passed me. I mean, he was going uphill in this thing, like I do straightaways <laughs> without a pack. <laughs> it's just freaking hilarious. Um, but uh, anyway. He said there's going to be two girls coming in, and they can't be too far behind me um, if they decide to come up this way. The other alternative would have been to stay at the river, um, but through hikers, I, I doubt they're going to, you know, hunker down and not hike for five or seven hours. Not to mention they'll cover this distance in a lot quicker time than I will. That said, they haven't passed me yet. Anyway, um, I'm going to scope out the campsites and probably bag up some water. Apparently there's a spring here. There better be. There's definitely some wet ground over there, so hopefully something. I'm going to uh, limp my way into Montebello tomorrow. It's like 4.8, 5.8. I think with the road walk, it's going to be right on six mile day. I think I'm going to let my way in there and then take a zero, take a, a Nero and a zero. That put me back on schedule and help me brush up my knee. And hopefully continue with the trip on Thursday. Do Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So. Alright. Um, any other updates? Oh. Thought I heard hikers coming in. It's early enough they may just pass bypass this and go go to a tent site or something. Would like to have the shelter to myself once, but oh well. Alright, I'll catch up later. Bye. Alright, so um right at six o'clock. I was just setting up in the shelter, get, starting to get my stuff out, and here, okay, well, nobody's going to show up this late. Um, this girl shows up through hiker, south, southbound through hiker. I'm like, uh, okay. She goes, um, there's a lot, a lot of people, I think there are a lot of people going to plan on staying here tonight. So I said, all right, I only stay in shelters if I'm alone. And she goes, huh? So I, I toss and turn, I'm, I snore, I'm up all night, so I've already got a campsite picked out. Um, and before I could, so I grabbed my stuff, my uh, tent, came down here to a campsite, which is almost as far away from the shelter as I can get. Um, and before I could even get my tent up, a group of like six other people came in. And, um, oh man, they're, they're loud, they're young, they're all excited. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Anyway, hopefully shortly after nightfall they'll calm down and bed out. I know one guy being packed in a beer. So there was beer magic. Um where was that? As you crossed from the river where I had lunch. 
as you came across the um, the street by the sign. There was like three or four cans of PBR right there. And, uh, I must admit, I gave it a, a second of thought. <laughs> but probably would have been more tempted if it was a Coke. But, anyway, um, so I'm in a tent again tonight, no big deal. Um, I did put on all my dry clothes today, tonight. Everything I have is just soaked. So I don't want to sleep in any of that. And um, when I first, when I first got here, um, as soon as I stopped sweating, uh, I started getting chilly. So anyway, I don't know if you hear them or not. But, uh, so far so good. Um, I'm enjoying the, the enjoying the hike. I'm enjoying staying, you know, in, in camping out. I enjoy. I, there's nothing wrong with this. It's just my body is not not what it used to be. Whew. It's only like seven thirty. <clears throat> just now it's starting to get dark. Gonna be pitch black here another 20 30 minutes, but um, I just got out to go pee and I was snuggled up in my sleeping bag. And holy shit, within like what, a minute, I'm shaking cold. So, this will be a good test of the sleeping bag tonight. Still trying, still trying to warm up. Not looking forward to putting on wet clothes in the morning. <laughs> anyway, 